All right, we got the 69 Camaro. Uh, all fiberglass car. This is a glass tech body, glass tech front end, uh, all glass tech doors, hood, deck lid. Um, this is just kind of a preview of what goes on into getting all these things right. Uh, this body's in really, really good condition. They have a really nice product. Um, the roof just has some mold lines uh, where these, you know, these things are not, they're not one piece when they make them. They have to put this stuff together. So there's a few mold lines here and there. Down the quarters, got some waves. Just wanted to kind of get those out of there. You could probably get it out with blocking it with primer, but it's easier to do it with a little bit of glazing putty. That's all this is, is, is a easy sand glazing putty. Uh, they did fill in the area there, the builder, uh, where the wheelie bars normally come out. It's filled in. This car don't have the wheelie bars on it. So I had to do a little body work back there. Um, um, doors filled in the door handle recessions where you could mount the door handles uh, all these little holes are where the, the chassis builder was holding all that stuff together while he makes it all his mounts um, I did have to fit the hood put the Zeus fasteners in same with the deck lid get those fitted and, and installed uh, front end just a little bit of minor imperfections up here in the front on both sides. The rest of it's the uh, mounts where the tree is. All that stuff's bonded together and then uh, fiber last in. Um, so like I say, all in all, it's really good. Uh, do have quite a, few, quite a few days in getting to this point, but um, now we're ready for primer. We're gonna put some Omni MP282 on it, three coats, and then uh, Get this thing blocked out real good tomorrow. Get it nice and straight. And we'll put some, some good primer on there. Um, so we'll get ready for paint. So. I already got my primer all mixed up. This is the uh, Omni MP282. I'm using the MH284 hardener. It's the high temp version of the hardener. Uh, there's no reducer in this. We want it uh, as thick as it can be at the moment. I'm shooting out of my uh, SADA Jet 100 BP. Uh, this is a, actually a polyester primer gun. It's a 2.5. Shoot any kind of primer you want out of this thing. Uh, we do have to turn the fluid down quite a bit uh, because it's such a large tip. But uh, we'll get you clipped in here. And uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to spray uh, all my body work with one coat. You know, uh, body filler tends to kind of absorb a little bit of primer. So we're going to put one coat over all the body filler, and then we'll come back and do three coats over everything.
All right, first round of priming is done. There's three coats of Omni MP282. this dry overnight and uh next time you see me we're gonna block this thing with 150 come back and finish it down with 320 grit and then we're gonna go back and reprime it with some really good primer we're trying to do this uh you know a little bit of budget wise that's why we use the omni to begin with uh, it's a little cheaper it's a little tougher to sand but it's definitely cheaper on the wallet uh but when it comes to the final finish i want to use a really good primer so we're going to be shooting a Nexa primer. So. blocked out finished off at 320 now we'll get some primer on it uh, as you can see there's just a few little minor imperfections here and there had to go back over uh, all in all really straight Uh, everything else I've got in the paint booth. Uh, just to try to organize things a little bit. But hood straightened out, doors are straightened out. This time around, I'm actually going to be putting primer on the inside of the doors because we are going to be painting the inside. They do get a carbon cover on the center. Uh, so, just a couple minor imperfections here and there. Same with the front end, a few little tiny places. That's what it looks like uh, after it's all blocked out. That's the reason you do that, so everything is straight, you don't miss nothing. Uh, this will be our final prime, we're gonna do this. We're gonna use the P uh, Nexa Aqua Base 5405 primer. Uh, it's rather hot outside, so we're going to use a P210 5476 hardener, which is a slower hardener. Uh, we're going to put three coats on everything, and that'll be our final prime, and we'll be ready to sand and paint after that. All right, this is what we're working with right here. 5405 gray, and then the 5476 slow hardener. Uh, might have to add a touch of reducer to it because it is really hot today. You can tell. Um, but three coats of that. It's really nice uh, sand and primer. It's, it is expensive, but it's really nice. So uh, we got to use cheap primer to just block and sand everything to because we're going to get rid of half of it by sanding it all off. So this here will just get a final quick sand with 320 and then 600 and then it'll be ready to paint. So.
All right, all primed up. Uh, all we gotta do now is uh, sand it. So it's gonna be a couple weeks before we, uh, before I get it sanded. Uh, if you're curious about time frame right now, we're about 60 hours in to get to this point. Um, I've used one entire gallon of the Omni MP282 primer, it mixes at four to one. And I've used basically an entire gallon of the 5405 primer, which is also a four to one mix. So give me an idea on labor and uh, a little bit on materials. It's not counting all the sandpaper and all the other good stuff. So be painting in a few weeks.